I have to make funny and funny noises until Google goes live, and they have gone live, and it's Sam and Lara um, for uh, the Kent Beck Scrum. Here we are. Um, Lara, how are things going with you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, so we had a good session with Patrick this afternoon just to go through some of the UX um, stuff that's needed for Met, Met Plus. Um, mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. now busy just going through your YouTube review video on it mm -hmm. and, then, and, then, and then going to start writing some stories great so that we can get that side cracking cool then, good stuff um, go on just on local host i mean local support mm. i'm uh, still that blocker on that uh, page name failing on yes uh, page controller yeah all right well maybe we can have a little look at that at the top of the scrum um i think there was also some questions about some SHF project PR is oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry. So I'm um, just I was also working I wasn't really working on SHF, I was just helping out with the review of code. Sure. Um, and checking and so and helping Susanna out because there's only two real active people on that project. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and everybody's in a different time zone at the moment. So. Right. But I know that there's one big pull request there. Um, I think uh, well, Thomas had a bit of an issue with it because there was a bit more work done than what the scope had kind of been put out there. Mm -hmm. But it's still it's it's stuff that is needed. So, but otherwise, it's all good. Yeah, great. Well, yes. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the pull request and I'm sort of unclear about which one. Anyway, we'll maybe look at that at the end of the, top of the scrum. Let's go on to, uh, to, to Sig Sigu is here. Hey, Sigu, how are you doing? Sam? Hi, Sam. Hi, Sigu, how are you doing? Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Go ahead. Uh, uh, can, uh, just an update on, on what I've been up to. Over the weekend, we have the Google Dev in uh, my hometown. Uh-huh. First 2016, I had a chance to see and uh, lake hub as a community in general. Hey, yep, you're right. Yeah, your, your audio is coming and going a little bit. Keep on going. You had a, you had a Google Dev come and uh, do something with you guys. Oh yeah, so I had a chance to talk about lake hub and uh, code 19 in general. Um, I've, I've been up and down. That's why I've not been able to work on uh, the, the the problems that I've uh, I picked the issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, probably in the next, uh, let me say, ne this week, no, or uh, this week I might be a bit held up again. Maybe next week I'll I'll be able to work on something. Sure. Not. Yeah. Not. We have we have another uh, we have another Google Developer Festival in Nairobi. Uh huh. On on tenth. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good Thanks. start. Yeah. Uh, excellent. 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 All right. Thanks. Thanks. Michael is here. Hey, Michael. How are things going with you? Oh, how are you? Uh, Mary and I were looking at some algorithm problems over the weekend. Uh -huh. uh, that was about it for me. Uh, she. I think I had concluded that the issue with the running median that we had written in Clojure is probably that. Uh, this needs a Fibonacci heap mm -hmm. rather than a binary heap. You mentioned that you used the uh, Fibonacci heap. Yes. And I don't think that's uh, Java provides that out of the box. No. So uh, I'm not sure what to do about that mm -hmm. in terms of getting that to. Well, I mean, it, it might be an interesting possibility to sort of explore creating a Fibonacci heap, which um, from the Ruby code looks like it shouldn't be too too challenging. Uh, I guess one could even, I mean, what I've done with the Ruby one was, of course, find a Fibonacci heap um, implementation. Um, I imagine if we search for Fibonacci heap Java, there may just be a library somewhere that you can grab. Uh, I see... Well, we can't use Java. It has to be Enclosure, right? 
Uh, so can, can, can you, uh, right, because you're trying to do the whole thing closer. Mm. It's just one file. Right. Can't, like, right. submit an actual project with, mm -hmm. build, like, right. Specifications that would tell it to build this in Java. And yeah. Well, I guess you could use this implementation of Fibonacci heap in closure that I'm linking to you. Probably. Uh, anyway, but yeah, uh, interesting stuff um so i just i'll do me um thanks michael for the report there i i've, I've reduced my um video quality so that's uh you know that's not overwhelming but in particular i think sigur's got a, got a, a connection it's not not so powerful um so i've just had a meeting with um dre uh that's our sponsor they've just made their first monthly payment it's, it's nice we, we've got the met plus has done deploy to them we've got a version of the uh, local support on there um, I've kind of given up trying to put the uh, async Slack bot on there, and I put async Slack bot on an Amazon EC2 instance for the time being, being and it does still seem to be live. Um, Michael, do do um, vote on the, um, the the current vote on uh, sorting project page by commit date in the website one channel, and we'll see if uh, uh, that will help us continue to test uh, async voter. But that was my main block this morning was um, having a stable place to run the async voter um, that seems to have been fixed with that um, yeah so uh, is supposed to be rolling out uh, a few new bits and pieces to allow us to complete the um, local support deployments and so on um, yeah so that's going that all seems to be going reasonably well um, also very pleased that we've got our first um, adventure venture sponsor who is um, uh, willing to sponsor another uh, Agile Ventures member, so um, I'm offering to Sigu uh, one of the one of his uh, bootcamp members uh, could have that sponsorship, and uh, Sigu's identified uh, one of his uh, one of his one of his students, and so uh, we can sort of start that whenever you're ready, Sigu. I think you were saying she may have some exams uh, until December the 10th. So anyway, it'd be good to start yep. it when she's ready to, you know, throw throw herself into it. So that'll be that'll be great, and hopefully we can get more and more of these uh, sponsorship. Uh, things and we can offer you know more more premiums to um, others of your students and other bootcamps around the world. We will we will see. We've lost. So he's so excited. He's dropped the connection there. Um, so I think that's that. Uh, any other critical things we need to work out? No. Um, I guess what we what we could do now is. So I guess uh, like the thing to ask now is who 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 is free for pairing now? Yeah, I'm free. So Lara's free. Uh, Michael, are you free? Yeah. But I think, Sigu, you were saying you're probably not free to pair now. Yeah, uh, not now. Uh, I'm actually in the house right now. And okay. I'm not to be able to pair because I'm, I'm using some meetup uh, bundles. Can I comment on the, um, on, the on the sponsorship thing? Please do, yes. Yeah, I, I lost you while you're talking about it. Um, mm. So I, I fear that uh, Cecilia will be right to start with. Uh, she's mm. called Cess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, w I was meeting with her yesterday. Uh, she mm -hmm. told me it's actually not 10th, it will be the 14th of okay. December. That's when she'll be free. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the update. From great, her. great. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I, I will, I'll reach out to her. Well, uh, well, we'll, 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 we'll work it out. And, uh, you know, if there's yeah. any pressure on her okay, cool. while she's doing her exams. Great. All right. Um, and Thomas is here as well. Hey, Thomas, how are you, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you guys doing? Mm. All the better for your presence. Any updates for us? Uh, not not much, you know. I've been I've been busy coding some side projects, as you as you noticed. Thank you very much for reporting on that issue. I temporarily fixed it just by turning that feature off, basically. <laughs> so uh, you know, those are the best fixes. Uh, uh, so so now I'm I'm, I'm generating last week's uh, data rather than than this week's, and I just integrated some Slack notification uh, a Slack bot into into that application. So I'm. I'm very happy, actually. Oh, good. Not, not, uh, I've done some uh, review of the pivotal tracker for the SHF, trying to, you know, uh, understand what's going on uh, there. But uh, haven't had a chance to do any code reviews uh, for them. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, All sense. right. Yeah. Well, I think that, that's uh, that's us. That's our, our scrum. I guess that I think we sort of well, we've got one local support blocker for Lara, which maybe we can just jump on and fix. And then uh, I guess the thing I might even ask first of uh, of Lara is just to, I don't like, 
so Susanna was kind of reaching out for support on the SHF project, but which was the, so I'm, I'm just looking here at the pull requests for that. Uh, and she seemed to be saying that it was 29 or something that uh, was the particular one, but I see that that's, which she's, I don't know. 29, that was another one. Uh, let me just quickly put it there. I mean, I'm just looking at the, um, the, 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 the channel and it's, she says the 29 is passing ready for review. You say that you reviewed it and then yeah, no, so the pull 29, uh -huh. pull 29, I'll just put it in the Slack channel. This one was like, there was a lot, uh, let just pop it here. Uh, That's that, this is the one I'm showing, isn't it? Pull 29. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is the one that just had a lot of code, and I just thought that a senior was please look at. Yeah. That. Okay. So this this is the one we need. We need some more eyes. I just want to check. This yeah. is this is this is the one we want more eyes on on this one. Okay. Yes. Well, I, I can I can do that a bit later. Um, that's not obviously not blocking you. Let's let's just go to the local support one then. And so we've got for this we've got an error here. Uh, while that's pulling up, I will just grab down a little bit of code, yeah. local support, uh, git fetch, Mara, uh, here. So this is, this we worked this together. We've now got, so it's, it's fading there on the R specs. Are you, what, what is it actually blocking you at the moment? Okay, so last week when we kind of went through it, everything was a bit crazy because we were about to do our mobbing session. Mm -hmm. So um, you mentioned that we could work through this because there was a whole lot of refactoring that you wanted to do and take out some some code that didn't look good. Mm. So that was the gist of it. And then I looked at it and I thought, okay, I'm not going to touch this. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a bit complicated. Okay. Uh, now, my my memory of of this one of this this feature is that uh, so we you this I mean this is let's go to the top level of the feature. The feature is this is about having the static pages have some decent default tags, right? Yeah. Um, and so you sort of started on it and encountered a problem. And the last week we. Kind because of, it wasn't yeah, sorry, carry on. Sorry. No, carry on. Oh, and I think we identified the problem in a debugging session and then and then you and then and then we were talking about how for maximum learning value you were gonna like just start it again fresh, right? That was the plan. No, 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 yeah, which I did do. Yes. I did start it again fresh. And yes. then I redid it and we sorted we sorted all of that out. Great. And then we and then I started getting this failure, which was Okay. Which is a totally different issue. Okay. Um, and then we, and then we, we, the about. It wasn't going to the about page. It wasn't. It wasn't creating the about page. Right. In my, in yeah, the, yeah. You, you don't. You don't have the about page locally, as it happens. I think. I think we did talk about um, yeah. maybe switching to a different ticket in which we would update the seeds file to create the about page. But you worked on that. You've you worked on this and you, you fixed the, the cucumber thing. So the cucumbers yeah. are now passing for you. Yeah. And yes. so the, the problem that you're encountering are these failing specs. That's it. Right, right. Yes. And so we've now got, and so I guess the, 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 what, the thing that's the block for you is not knowing how to deal with these specs, these yes. pages controller specs. Sure. Um, yes. So if we just do this. We can run it, the pages controller spec. Yes. Uh, okay, interestingly that, okay, well that's interesting. They seem to be running for me locally. What have I done on that branch? This is, huh. So are the specs passing locally for you? No. No, they're failing? Yes. Oh, that's very strange. They're failing on our side. Okay. Um, and what's what's like what's the latest commit ID that you have locally? Uh, I'll tell you now. Uh, let's just pull that up. 
Uh, my latest commit was the 20, Friday the 25th of November. Yes. So I'm not I'm not I'm less interested in the date than I am in that yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the beginning of what, what do you need the, the beginning of the hash like is does it say 767 f for Freddie B a B08 okay yeah yeah well that's interesting I I wonder here if I haven't got let's see get hissed yeah for some reason I don't have I thought I would get your branch there and it looks like I haven't so hold on uh, get pull Lara and it's the branch that you're on here. It's this SEO static pages branch uh, Yeah, one three two five seven one eight three seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah for some ugh, ugh, Okay, that's silly uh, uh, Yeah, so that wasn't I Just didn't have the right code. I'd assume yeah, okay. No, so now I'm getting the failure. Let's just check the uh, cucumber So we're getting this failure page controller 74 name for nil class so and uh, what is let's go and look at the look at the spec yeah and so i think probably the thing i was saying was whether you know i mean there's an interesting thing here is that i i tend to think that the specs are the con controller specs are kind of a bit ridiculous i mean I, I feel like they're they're too tightly wrapping the things let's have a look here so we've got we just take what now okay no but now for me the um uh the cucumbers are not passing yeah that's right but, this is where we got to uh, okay sorry different. i thought you said that the cucumbers were passing for you locally uh, sorry no they're, they're not passing they're not passing okay they we're passing <laughs> uh-huh until thursday until i got this issue right and then, we, and then we did a whole uh, uh kind of find the bug right and uh, we then kind of boiled down to, <laughs> I can't remember, but we boiled down to, to something, that, everything that's happening in the, the code, mm. in the page controller, was it, I think, or the page sure. controller yeah. spec, that you said it was wrapping too tightly and that there was something that you would actually want to take out. Yeah, I mean, that, that, I mean yeah. That. I mean, that's a, I think that's a, that's a, yeah, so there's a side issue there. I'm taking that up. I mean, I guess to pop it back up to a higher level, I I yeah. wonder if that that you working on local support and Met Plus and SHF project and the one with Thomas is kind of that there's maybe a challenge of switching between too many different code bases too frequently. I I wonder if it might make sense to sort of choose one project and focus on that exclusively. Okay. I don't know. That's just I'll just put that. that out there as a kind of. Uh, I think particularly if you're you're having having come from work or something and then it's like another week and you come back and it's it's difficult to remember exactly what's going on then sure. uh, I mean I'm not I hardly want to talk because I'm jumping backwards and forwards between I'm setting a terrible example my apologies um but uh certainly something to consider um yeah okay so we're so we so we got to this the issue hello so got, hello michael i'm just star so i know you i know i know you are Yes. Yeah, feel free to um, uh, yeah, yes. to add. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong project there for a start. Uh, feel free to, to to chime in with ideas and thoughts. Uh, pages controller. Um, yeah. So we've got. So so one we can look at the SEO feature. Mm. As a way into this, uh, look at the admin SEO feature. This is failing on we've got thirty. Given I visit, I should have a page, uh, and I debug. Let's just go in and try and understand what's going on with the. Um, really, we don't have an ID bug thing. You're kidding me. Uh, no. So let's put in basic steps. Uh, and I did given debugger. That's line five fifty seven. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah.
Okay, let's try that there. And I, I, right, so now that I remember, had we come back to the problem, the problem here, uh, Lara, that we'd identified, I thought was that we'd worked out here about oh, the following pages. Is, so this is now, this is the, uh, the problem that we've- it's updated. Added, right, so that's now updated. So, so it is actually trying to create the page. So we can say page all at this point, but I think it seems like for some reason, they maybe aren't being created in the way that we expect. Um, so, but this, yeah, maybe this is more to do with the, so if we end up at this point and we say page all, there are no pages that have been created there. So if we look at the thing that comes through is page, so we're getting the data thing. So if we look at pages, hashes first, we see that we've got name, content, and so on. So then what we could try and do, so there's probably some kind of failure going on here. So if we try and create this, what's it gonna say there, page, page dot all, it's still not creating them. I wonder if create is not doing what we think. Do we need an additional, so P equals like this, and then do P dot save, uh, false. And so P, is it uh, errors? Uh, I think, do we have an error in there? Per, the, the messages permalink can't be blank. So it needs to have a permalink. So it's basically, I, th I think there, because if we do the page creates, it's, it's basically failing, isn't it? It's failing to save it. Correct. So we've got here, yeah, permalink can't be blank. And that's for the page. Uh, so I guess the simple fix there is that we need a permalink in there as well. It has some value, right? Have some value. Uh, yeah, and I think it just needs like some key like that. Uh, why is that wrapping over quite so intensely? I guess it's just the length of the. We are a not. Let's just. We don't need to have the longer description. We are a not for profit. There we go. So. Just updated on thirty four. Yeah. Now. More than once. I, I want to do specifically line. Let's do the thirty. Okay. So. We stop there. Now let's have a look at page all. Yes, so now we have some things there. Let's continue. At this point, we have some fingers and continue. And even then, annoyingly, we still don't have... So it's creating something for us. Um, so we get to that point and we look at the... So here, so we have an About Us page. How are we actually going to look at the About Us page? Given I visit the show page for about us, the page dot URL or page dot current URL. Right. I mean, I wonder if that's is it actually going to the page? Let's look page body. Yeah, I think at this point, for some reason, it's not even visiting the show page for about us for some reason. If you go there and click through that link and see what it does. Uh, oh yeah, we're, I'm, I think I'm running, am I running a copy of the server? Go through to that step. Go through to which step? Oh, this one. 31. Yeah, right, it's not actually visiting, it's just saying expect page to have content. Yeah. So that should, yeah, I mean, basic steps. We have static page steps here. Uh, control F, visit. We have an um, edit page. So I think we kind of actually want a different one here. So given I'm on the show page with the what have you permalink, uh, we could sort of create there this step here. Um, and do do this and actually go to that page. Uh, so given, back. 
to where? Sorry. Can you go back to what that step was? Uh, I could do. Uh, what here? This one. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. You can continue. I just wanted to see what you were sure. doing. Sure. Yeah. 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 I was just, and particularly for also for, for Laura. So I'm kind of. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've got a dangerous addition there that this one doesn't. It's sort of checking. You can can you see what's wrong with this step, Laura? No, not really. No. Ah, uh, well, so, so the, 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 the title of the step saying is that it's I'm going to visit the show page for a particular page name. Okay. Is a description of what it does. Now, this expect page to have content is Doesn't actually yeah, it, it's trying it's trying to check for something. It's not actually doing the visit. So this is kind of specific. It's capybara. And so kind of if we wanted to make this work, we would have to have something in here that would work out. I mean, we'd have to do like, uh, you know, show page, fit, I, I, whatever is this, what would it do? Like there. We've got the show page page path. Um, we'd have to look up. I, th I think like if we wanted to make this one work, we would have to do something like we'd have to, we'd have to uh, find by uh, maybe it's name like this. We'd have to we'd have to find the page like this, and then yeah, we could do dot permalink. Basically, step is lying. Yeah, so I mean, and this this is kind of an assertion that the the page has been visited. This this line that was in there is kind of a, a sort of a it's like an attempt almost to check for some contents. And so the description of what the step does is different from what's going on under the hood. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's, it's, it's sort of both with cucumber steps and then also with just general Ruby, Ruby methods. It's a, it's a thing, it's a thing to really watch out for. So now, you know, and sort of what I've done here is found, was there something else that kind of was similar? So we had a mechanism for visiting the edit page and I've said, okay, I've made one, a similar one for visiting the show page. Um, so then we come in, in here, uh, we could just have a little look, run that, oh no, that's wrong thing, don't do that. No, 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 wrong. Uh, let's continue that. Let's run the SEO feature again there. Um, and so, ah, okay. There's a nil class, so now the about I've thought, oh I've I've called it about us without the underscore. Uh, so hopefully if that gets a little bit further, it's still undefined method show page path. Oh, I guess that's because it's not show page path; it's just page path. Yeah, it's the mechanism. I mean, the thing here, Laura, there's so many of these little things that are all just like um, rails you know, bits and pieces that are just, they take ages to internalize. Uh, once, once you know them, like me there, I can kind of like di diagnose and analyze and fix really fast. So now we get a body and, oops, continue. Ooh, okay, right, okay, yeah. And then, so actually, I think we're on the cusp of getting that passing. I was just seeing like, yeah, I've changed the name of the description. Uh, so I can just, Reduce that. I've, I've just reduced it down to not for profit. So possibly that might make it all pass. He said, crossing his fingers. Mm. Uh, yep, there we go. Good. Yes. And aspect. So the aspect I assume will still fail because all of the changes that we've made here have Fine. been to the cukes exactly as Michael was saying. Um, so the the. Yeah, the, 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 it was all, so all, all of those changes that we made were in basic steps, static page step, steps in the SEO feature. They're all kind of external to the app. Um, separately, we've got these specs on the pages control, and the page controller is complaining that uh, we have undefined name, method name for nil class. And as I think we were talking about previously in the pages controller spec, like what it does is, what is it doing? Uh, let's take an individual error like online 37 there. So here 
it's attempting to show like it's going to grab like an individual page and then within that individual page let's run specifically line 41 um in 41 it gets stuck on pages controller rb on 74 and that's because here before we've got the, the page which is being set up with the set page so this assumes that there's kind of an active record model in existence that this is page find by permalink so if we quickly wanted to fix this right the, the issue here we've it's created this about page here uh, it's going to do get show id about i mean this is it's kind of irrelevant to this test this would need to have something like allow uh what is it that we're actually doing in the here it's allow page basically we have to stub out this method so it's allow page to receive to so find by permalink right? yeah find by permalink uh exclamation mark we don't really care about like i guess we could say with uh, about, yeah. about, i mean the idea is a, with with about With uh, and then about uh, and return the about page, and that might work. Let's see. Um, mm, ah, to receive oh, allow mm, allow page. Ah, it should be underscore, not underscore. Sorry. Not yet. Uh, and that passes. But does does uh, if if you Laura, if you say this makes no sense whatsoever, I I will feel think no less of you. What's because this I think is one of the most complex <laughs> bits of everything that we 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 do. D does yeah, I mean I understand what you've done, but there's right. no way I would have done that on my own. Right. I I, th I think this is a really difficult thing to get to, and you have to be really confident with our spec yeah. to do that. I mean, then in principle, I mean, in principle, this could be all the things we're finding up there. I mean, we could even just slip that into a... But this is why we don't do controller toast anymore. Yeah, because it and they end up being really, really tight. What Every time you make a... You slightly change the... Operation of the rest of the system. Yeah. The operation of like what's being called inside of the control, right, right. Uh, everything else falls apart. Like, has to be completely stubbed out in every test. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, I was just trying to pull that out to so allow page to receive fun by permalink. I had it in there in this block. I would have thought I would have paid bet good money to say that if we put popped it in like it was here. I've just taken it up a level. About page should exist there as the let will bring it in. Uh, got the name about us and so on there. Uh, oh, have I, uh, have I changed with an oh, it's 42 is the. So we're running 42 it nil when there is no current user. And that's failing there. Undefined method name for nil class page is for. That's strange. Why would that? Why would that not? Why would that fix things here? But not if I pull it out into a before block in a higher described branch. Ooh. So there. Ooh. Really? That's very strange. I guess so, what, what I was... Oh, go on, Michael. What is the behavior now when you pull it into a before block? Uh, well, it, it was seeming to get the, the similar error to, to before, which was this you know, undefined method name, like it hadn't been stubbed out properly. Um, now it's just sort of, I've got, uh, there's some, now it's like completely complaining 
like the, the whole file. Won't, I mean, I, may, I think I've accidentally deleted. There we go. That's what it was. Accident, I'd accidentally deleted a do block in the process of this, I think. Oh. God. Run it again now and say, yeah. I was just 42, 42 there. So this is that, that, that this area, and it's got, this is the original error that it's like the name is not working. If I have, if I have this allow page inside that it block there, this test, at least I had thought, was previously passing, which it is. I would have thought that I could pull this. What about if you do before each? I have to do, and I, I think before or the before each is supposed to be equivalent. Don't Maybe know. Not. My hope here would had been that just by I'd pull that out, it would be doing it for everything. We might quickly get rid of all the other error, errors, but same we, error. yeah. we haven't. So, same same error again. Something about the sequencing with which this is happening is preventing that from. Uh, I mean, and there was several. I mean, if go back to here. It's what we're stopping. Find by permalink. So is something else running that calls find by permalink? Yeah, down here. It looks like it's been stubbed out. So it's, we've got a, a separate before block here that appears to have been added that stubs out the method I guess, Lara, were you actually manipulating this file? No, I haven't touched it. Oh, sure. It looks like I'm at 43 now. But yeah, I, I think what's happening there is we've got another find by permalink thing here, which is which is actually not returning. Okay, so that's now passing. Um, that was a tricky one. So that second one's not returning something. The second one's not returning something, and so it's kind of... Yeah, actually, so that's now all passing now. So we could remove that. So, so the first one was being X. So when you put it in the before block. So it was working when I put it in here. When I moved it outside there. Block. Yeah. So it was first being stubbed. Then it was being stubbed again by that yeah. second before block. Yes, exactly. But then when you put it in the it, it was being stubbed like during the test. So yes. was actually, that was actually winning. Yeah. So I think we've I think we've managed to get to a green branch here. I mean, we could argue that I'm always conflicted in these like controller specs thing is that we've kind of like fixed this up, we've sort of patched it up, and we get to keep the rest of this code until the next time. It kind of, I mean, maybe it would have been cleaner to delete it. I kind of feel like the process should be to look through each of these elements and say, okay, is this an is this some is it important? And um, we will, you know, if it is really important, we'll pull it into the cucumber layer. Um, yeah. Um, so, I guess you're probably sick to the teeth of this, Lara. Shall I just push this change up to your branch? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so here. I mean, what should happen is we should. Uh, you're saying we should actually check what each of these tests is intended to assert. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, that, that feels yeah. like the, the sensible thing to do. To some other test, either a cuke or even a different unit test. Yeah. And then uh, carry those over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then delete the entire thing. Yeah, that, that, would, that would seem to be the, um, you know, that's the, like the rigorous way of doing it. But, yes, uh, that's right. I, 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 it's difficult to know if we can justify the time. It's very costly in terms of time. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think if we thought that these had all been created uh, with... Yeah, it's, it's, diff it's difficult to know, isn't it? I mean, 
it almost feels like for the for the for the app it would make more sense just to be deleting the to delete them wholesale i, I don't know anyway I, I think in this situation there was some interesting how many are there of the we've oh. got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there's eleven controller specs oh. um i mean you know I, I, it would be an experiment wouldn't it just like get rid of them and then see what issues we encounter. Um, People so, just one at a time and get rid. Like, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. There we go. Is it is it all just a pain, Lara, or is there some learning to take away from from what, observing what we just did? No, no, there's definitely some learning. I mean, I'm definitely going to go through the YouTube video again. Mm -hmm. um, and just you know, piece it all together. But mm -hmm. there is definitely a learning curve here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is the particular. I mean, this, this kind of doing a really tight BDD um, acceptance unit test thing here is, I think, really tricky to do. You know, just by yourself, it's the kind of mm -hmm. thing that you know would be great to do uh, pairing. It's it's, it's mm -hmm. much easier to pick up, I think, in a pairing context. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, well, let's let's break that there I, I think we've, we've certainly we've, we've unblocked that and what i can do now is we can maybe do now we've got it green we can do a review of this and uh come back around on it yeah okay great fantastic yeah. thank you very much you're most welcome uh thank you michael I put, I put the video link is it should also already be in the uh yeah. slack okay well i guess i'm gonna go and grab a cup of tea and uh then michael maybe we could we could pair on something for a bit all right sounds yeah. good all right Bye for now. Thanks.